Welcome back to Pegisa Freeway. No, that's not what we're going to be racing today, that's for sure. But look out for the Motormart Volkswagen Challenge crew. This is a big field of cars and getting bigger every time we go racing. Great to have Mo Dangle and his team on board as the main sponsors. And expect a big fight at the front end, particularly in Class A as Keegan Master steps away from duties in GTC to come and do battle here at a circuit that he absolutely loves. His uncle Bevan's going to be there with him. Look out for Lyle Ramsey and Rory Atkinson and look out for Valdi Mikeys, who always goes well here. Keegan Master's getting a little bit of insight there from Wayne. And Rory Atkinson with the number one plate. It's going to be heavy at this part of the season. Good start, though, as they get away. Great start from Mo Dangle. He tries to get a hit through there on uh, Valdi Mikeys. And then Lyle Ramsey diving through from uh, the fourth row up into third place by the looks of things. Here's Class B. Ooh, Jacques Smith off the line very quick. Trying to close down on Creel and Mack. Those two head into turn one, and in the background, they start to sort things out. And speaking of the background, Stuart Mack's got a problem. Looks like the gear linkage might have gone on that car as they headed off the line, and he broke the gear linkage. He's got no gears heading to turn one. Great start for Class C as well as they come through for the first time. Look out for Elna Cruiser in that car. Looking to uh, maybe just go one better than Philip in the machine in Class C's. Class B's already down towards turn two. Lindsay Clue at the back end fighting hard, but it's a fight of note because Francois Van Sale is in there. So is the Silver and Charisse van der Rookie driver and a lady driver involved in Motormart Volkswagen Challenge. This is fantastic to see. They come flying through the toe of the boot, Graham Nathan having a little bit of fun of his own on the tail there of Van Sale. But out front, it is a battle of note in Class B's, and it literally happens right the way to the line. Looks like Chris is in for a bit of a, a run for his money as well. Chris Dale, Captain Dick on the side of his car, always a good, fun man. And of course, having some fun and games with the stickers on these cars as well with the two Masters boys. Oh, ran up and hit it out of shape. I wonder if they're going to have a co commission of inquiry on that car and see where the taxpayer's money is being spent on that police-sponsored machine of Van Ha Haha, <laughs> we'll wait and see about that. Let's get back to Class A, though, as they come through the fastest part of the track. Atkinson down in fourth place. Not where he wants to be, but it's Ramsey out front as Keegan Masters goes on the defensive. The Munro machine out front leading things at this stage. And it's Masters and Masters side by side. Keegan just ahead of Bevan. His uncle on his tail. And now Atkinson diving through on Bevan. And Mikey's waiting for something to go wrong. The all wagon parts machine there in fifth place. Just waiting for some little issue to go wrong there with any of the cars in front of him. He'll dive through and capitalize on that. Behind that, you've got JP van der Valt and Mo Dangle. They're having a little bit of an in-house fight of their own. But look at how tight it is here as they're getting into turn number one. Bevan Masters having to give away a little bit there to Atkinson. We're on board with the leader as Lyle Ramsey tries to open up a bit of a margin and get away from the rest of this pack. He has to. He's got a hard-charging and Pakisa specialist on his tail in the form of Keegan Masters. And as I mentioned earlier on, Masters here doing a bit of duties because they don't get to come and drive the Pakisa Freeway in GDC. So he's made a plan to come and drive it here for Volkswagen Challenge. And he's up in a second place ahead of Rory Atkinson. Atkinson ahead of Bevan Masters, then it's Mikey's and JP van der Valt pulling a little bit away now from Mo Dangle. Just behind Dangle is Ronaldo Verolini having a super run there for a top 10 finish, possibly. And might be just a little bit way off the pace there and falling into the clutches of these guys. Class B now heading into the toe of the boot. An unbelievable Nathan is all over Captain Dick looking for a way through. Now, let's see what Graham Nathan's got up his sleeve. It's Junior just ahead of them. Then you've got Pete Potkita. And now Nathan, oh, getting real close there with Cristal. Oh, Cristal giving him a tap. That's awesome. Nathan will love that. But Dale nearly puts himself in a big slide. And they dive through to find a way through on uh, Cherise van der She's in the mix there. And speaking of in the mix, in second place, the second lady out there, Elna Cruiser behind Fire and Batcher for Class C. Ramsey makes a small mistake. Down into Hillcorp, opens up the door. Oh, and Masters dives through. You don't want to do that with Keegan Masters. He's going to try and get away now from Lyle Ramsey. Ramsey staying right on the bumper. Behind that, it's Atkinson fending off the attack from Bevan Masters. Bevan Masters has got Valdi Mikey's a bit further back than what he was earlier on. Then it's JP. Oh, here's Mike B a bit further back as well. And oh, out of shape! Mike Papaglia gets completely locked up into the final corner. Into turn one, though, there's big pressure. And Masters can feel it in the form of that Munro Racing polo of Lyle Ramsey. Ramsey now looking to return the favor here on Keegan Masters. Keegan will know exactly where to place this car to ensure that Ramsey can't make an outbreaking maneuver. Although Ramsey goes early. He goes on the high side very early on, tries to dive on the inside of Keegan Masters. Keegan gives him some room. Great respect of driving there from both of them, giving enough room to play and enough room to correct any mistakes that might happen. But it's still on for first place, and Masters and Ramsey are going at it big time. Bevan Masters diving through. Looks like he might have opened up a bit of a door there. And could... Well, I thought possibly squeeze out Atkinson, but Rory saw him coming. 
front end of Class B, starting to heat up there as Creel feels the pressure coming from the Dirt Nurse car. And it's Motormart versus Dirt Nurse as Creel has got Jacques Smith on his tail. Smith now pulling a little bit of a margin and getting away from Dion Holiday Jr. And then we look at Graham Nathan in the background with Christel Charisse van der Merwe and Francois van Sale. Here is Class C once again. This time Gossman's got up in between there by the looks of things. Yes, he's got up in second place behind Basha and Ulna's dropped down to third. So a little bit of maybe a little bit of uh, rusty time there for uh, Ulna as the leaders head towards the line. And a little bit of lack of seat time from Ulna Cruiser, but no worries at all for Keegan Masters taking the win in Class A ahead of Bevan Masters. Lyle Ramsey, Rory Atkinson, and a great drive from Atkinson in the BHIT car ahead of Valdi Meinke's All Wagen Parts Machine, JP van der Walt ahead of Mo Dangle in the Motormart car, and Verilini in 8th place. In Class B it was Dion Creel ahead of Shark Smith, Dion Holiday Jr., then it was Graham Nathan, Dion Holiday Sr., and Chris Dale. And in Class C, a great drive from Farren Basha to beat out Andy Gossman. Moving into race number two now, and the ambient temperature has certainly risen. We started about 0 degrees Celsius in racing, commenced in the morning, but it's a little bit warmer out there right now. So expect a bit more warmer racing and hot action in the Motormart Volkswagen Challenge race number two. Keegan Masters will definitely have a target on his back. Remember, he'll only be racing this one race, so not really worried about him. And more importantly, looking to try and take on Rory Atkinson. And Atkinson is going to have his hands full. Bevan Masters and Valdi Mikey's mean business. He's on the front row and he gets a great start. He actually gets a much better start than Keegan Masters did. And heads down into turn one, possibly with a whole shot, and Lyle Ramsey on his tail. Masters drops down to fourth place as Bevan Masters goes around his outside and into turn one. Once again, a great start coming out of Creel as he leads Jacques Smith and Junior into turn one for Class B. Nathan behind them. Charisse van der Merwe had to start from the pit lane, as you can see, and comes to join the back end of Class B just as they go past the exit of the pit lane. She'll have to come right from the back and find her way through there on a couple of the uh, rookie drivers as well. Riyad Esop in there and Ashraf Sadik. Good start from the Class C competitors as Gossman goes at it there with Van Amerba. Looks like once again it is Foreign Basha who's got the drop and takes the whole shot. Darby Van Amerba into third place behind Elna Cruiser as they head down towards the kink and towards turn two. A posi drive car looking for a chance now to stay just ahead of this man that we're on board with, but uh, gonna have her hands full as we saw in race number one. And Foreign Basha has had a fantastic day so far, looking for a double victory here today, but watching out for the police coming from the back. Moving to the front end of Class B now. Jacques Smith has dropped down slightly. He's tucked in behind Nathan. Nathan going into a great spot there to defend one of his drivers there. That is Junior at the front end of Class A though. Top three getting away ever so slightly. It's the back end of Top three that's led by uh, Lyle Ramsey. But the front end, it's all about Atkinson. Fending off the attack coming from Keegan Masters. Bevan Masters and Valdi. Then it's JP and of course Mo Dangle just behind JP. Wanting to resume the battle he had earlier on with the Platinum Wheels JRT Polo. So it's Moto Mart Clarksville versus JRT. And that is for about 7th and 8th place on track as they come through now. Super run here and first lap done. Now, what is Keegan Masters going to be able to do here about these top two? They've got away ever so slightly. But remember, Masters has got a great turn of pace around this track and has moved himself up into a possible race victory position there. He's not quite leading the race yet. He's got to find a way through there on Atkinson. And as I mentioned earlier on, Atkinson won't really be concerned about Masters. If he's got to give up that lead and maintain the overall lead in terms of the championship contenders, he might give it up to Keegan Masters and allow him the spoils of the day. The spoils of the championship are more important to Atkinson in the BHIT machine. Fighting with Ramsey in that Munro car, who of course had problems at the previous round. So he'll have to bring in and make up that lost ground. Graham Nathan fighting hard there. And you can see fighting with his own clients and customers from Nathan's Motorsport. It's a super to see. And great to have the big man back in a car. He's just behind Jacques Smith. He's got Porquita on his tail. A little bit further back there is Chris Dell. And Chris Dell now fighting with Craig Napier. And look out for Robbie De Silva in the second of the Motormart cars as well in this Class B contention. France Offensale runs ever so slightly wide. Stuart Mack is back on track. That's good to see. But you can see he's not quite on the pace as what he had. And Mack might be battling a little bit there with some gear issues. We heard from him that the gear linkage broke in that first start. Maybe he's just finding it difficult to change the gears now after having that car repaired. There's Farron Basher getting away at the front end of Class C and in fact getting into the mix in Class C as Alna Cruiser moves up into second place ahead of Gossman is Sadek, the rookie driver from Class B. Lyle Ramsey gives us a great shot here of Keegan Masters taking the lead and ahead of Atkinson. I think Atkinson didn't really fend off the attack there too much. Although he wants to take the win and try and beat the GDC champion, it'll be great to see the multiple Volkswagen champion Looking for the end game here. Not worried about what's going to happen here today in race two. 
second, third, and fourth place. Starting to heat up as Jacques Smith comes under pressure from Nathan. Nathan's got a pressure of his own coming from Senior. Holiday Senior now applying the pressure in that Golf Racing Polo. The golf Racing colors there. Very easy to pick up on that car. Just behind him, Junior starting to close in, but Junior's got some work to do with Mac closing in as well. So it's not over yet in Class B's. Any one of these top five can take it. They're all going to try and find a way to close in on the leader, though, and I think that might be sorted out. Oh, 81 out of shape is Barney van Dijk in one of the most treacherous parts of the circuit to get out of shape. You don't want to be caught in that corner, particularly on that race line with Polos coming at you left, right, and center. Very fortunate that no one was coming through there at a rapid pace and just missed out Van Dijk as he spun in the fastest right-hander here at Pekisa. He's back on track, as you can see, just ahead of Foreign Basha in the Monotronics car now, leading things out in Class C by a comfortable margin. Second place is up for grabs, though, and Gossman still fighting with Funamaba and Cruiser for second place in Class Cs. This is second place in Class Bs now. And you can see Robbie De Silva hasn't quite got up to the second place battle in Class B, but he's definitely had a much better run here in race number two. Keegan Masters taking a double victory ahead of Rory Atkinson and Bevan Masters just keeping Lyle Ramsey behind him. Class B will go to Steon Creel. And a nice run there from the Motormart man to finish up there at the top end of Class B. Farron Basha with the double in Class C in the Mototronics Polo. As he comes across the line, you can see a long way ahead there of Andy Gossman. Overall results there for Class A, Keegan Masters ahead of Rory Atkinson, Bevan Masters, Lyle Ramsey. Valdi Mikey's coming through for a fifth place again ahead of JP van der Valt, Mo Dangle and Mike B up into the top eight. In the Class Bs, it was Steon Krill who took the victory. He beat out Holiday Junior and Jacques Smith in the Dirt Nurse car with Graham Nathan on their tail. And then it was Holiday Senior. And in Class C, once again, Foreign Basha taking the win, this time ahead of Andy Gossman. Let's catch up with our Class C overall winner, Farhan Basha. Oh, it was a really good weekend. We managed to qualify on pole, really an awesome feeling. And today we managed to get both race wins. It was a bit tough over races, uh, having to defend for the first few laps and then being able to break away from the pack. So really a great weekend for us. And I'd like to thank all the sponsors for making everything possible. Class B was taken by Steon Creel in the Motormart car. We won race one, race two, Dion and Jock kept each other busy. And I managed to pull quite a, like a lead for the tires that went off, so I was just able to maintain the pace, come home with a car in one piece, and yeah, very happy for the points that we got, so it's a full house for the day, can't ask for anything more. Double victory for Keegan Masters takes the win in Class A. Oh, it was a perfect day, um, double win, and uh, it was also very special because I got to dice with my uncle Bevan, and uh, yeah, uh, the car was faultless, uh, setup was perfect. Um, and yeah, um, unfortunately I'm not going to do the next race because I only did this race because I love Bikisa so much. So yeah, it was just a guest race, I guess. 